Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first official video to the Subaru Fan Club, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your Car Talk host, Chris. Welcome to Subaru Fan Club, ladies and gentlemen. So, a little bit about me. I do own two Subarus. I've been a Subaru owner for 10 years. My very first Subaru was a 2012 Subaru Forester. Now currently driving is a 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. Outback. Yep, that's right folks. A 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. Like I said, that thing handles it on off-roading trails like a beast. Trust me, it's the best car to ever buy. I might do a review on my wilderness in another video. So just stick around for that video if you guys are new to the channel. So also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And welcome to the Subaru Fan Club, ladies and gentlemen. Also, we got some Subaru news that we're going to cover for you guys, so let's get started. So Subaru WRX and STI sales are down nearly 90%, but it's a long story. And the reason why it's been down, because obviously, people don't buy sports cars as much as they used to. It's kind of where we see that as the Camaro sales. Camaro sales, like I said, have been going down significantly for the past like, six years. Six years, you know as Camaro stars were plummeting, so was that all these sports cars are just plummeting. I think because people want to buy something more practical instead of just buying, you know, wasting a lot of that money on just buying a normal sports car. Some people actually want to do buy their, you know, SUVs because obviously they're more practical. They're more better off, you know, into, you know, seeing the wilderness for itself. Kind of the Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. It's kind of where you can see more of the wilderness and do more off-roading stuff. And that's kind of why I say, you know, I would prefer using getting a um, SUV other than getting a sports car. Even though I do love sports cars, hear me there. My dream car as a Subaru fan of myself, I've been a Subaru fan of my whole life for the past 10 years. And the only Subaru I wanted to buy one day is either the, uh, the Wilderness again, or the Subi WR STI. But, what makes it hard is because obviously, the Subi WRX is kind of, sales are plummeting. On paper, the WRX is called the compared to the outgoing models, and it's been driven, and look at bigger automotive landscapes. Subaru is just susceptible to some supply chains every other car company. And so though, you know, Subaru is a Japanese brand, uh, you know, company that's from Japan. And like I said, you know, it's kind of like the Subaru. Like, so people don't want to buy Subaru's WRXs because obviously, well, not people are into sports cars as much anymore as they used to way back in the day. So is Camaros. Not everybody wants to buy those sports cars. Some people want to buy those practical, that's why I've seen on the Subaru dealer, people do trade in their sports cars for something more practical, like an SUV from their Subaru dealers. And it's, it's fine by me, like I said, you know, you can own a SUV as you want, you know. You don't have to buy one of those very expensive um, sports cars, and, you know. But you want something more practical, you want something more family, because people do start a family, you know, they have to get something more practical. That's the whole thing, is like I said, you know, something more practical. Now, part two, so now we're going to talk about this new Subaru Solterra, which everyone has been talking about. So the Subaru Solterra is the first full electric Subaru that came out into the market. It's a new 2023 Subaru Solterra. And it's kind of similar, if you think about it, as Toyota. With their Toyota, I think, uh, yeah, Toyota BZ4X. Uh, once leaves the pavement. So promise is that 2023, it's already been released to the public. And first glance, like I said, for me, I'm not a big fan of electric vehicles. And here's why. Those electric vehicles don't give a lot of range as they used to. Actually, no, sorry. The range of those things are bad. If you look at the dash of those ranges on the battery, some of those can go for about 300 miles tops. And that's kind of really pathetic if you think about it. It's kind of like comparing to a Jeep. Jeeps obviously get worse gas mileage too. Why would I spend a lot of money on buying a Jeep? Because those things are bad. Those things get terrible gas mileage. So do Hummers, because obviously, well, Jeeps, Hummers are just big vehicles. They weigh a lot, you know, they have a lot of that, um, what's it called? You know, 
aerodynamics with the wind and you know air clearance and all that stuff. That's kind of how you pretty much you know if you get a higher lip higher lift of a vehicle, those get worse down as much because you have a lot of aerodynamics in the winds and you get all that wind shear. That's pretty much why I don't like Jeeps too. But the best car to ever get to buy with the best gas mileage you can ever have is getting a Subaru. Honestly, some people say, hey, Subarus are pretty bad cars. I mean, hey, that's your opinion, okay? Subarus, from my opinion, they're the best cars to ever own. They have the best gas mileage ever. And like, so now they're going full electric. So pretty much, well, we're kind of seeing that, that side effect with that. The reason why is because our oral and natural gas is running out. And that's, so we're kind of going that in that quick pace. Like I said, that quick pace, like I said, we're going full electric and by the time like 2030 or something, that's what all these politicians are trying to say. And like I said, because of low Mount, and let's see, if you guys have been seeing what's on the news or seeing everywhere, these gas prices are outrageously expensive. And that's kind of plus or minus whatever is going on between the other side of the world, pretty much, you know. That's kind of what's happening, you know. I've done a video like that on Interstate Autos. If you guys want to go look at that video, I'll put that in the link down in the description. But like I said, these are a lot of really these Subaru newsletters I'm going to give to you guys. So pretty much like I said, this whole channel, so we're going to be doing some Subaru reviews and some Subaru news articles. So pretty much this is two Subaru news articles that we want to share with you on this very first video I want to share to you. Hopefully I'll get another review for the Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. I will do that in the next video. So you get ready for that. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Let's get this channel up to 1,000 subscribers. And let's get, you know, let's share this Subaru community, this fan group up, and let's get started, and I'll see you guys on the road. Bye.